On this one, we have these two quantities, but now we're subtracting them. So we're going to find the difference between these two. What this means is that, well, we do have to work with that minus right here that's between the two quantities. The first quantity doesn't make any difference, by the way. The first number here, or quantity. So I'm just going to get rid of those parentheses. You can do that all the time, unless there's a negative in front of it, which would require some distribution. For example, on this one, we could consider that to be plus a negative one. That wasn't very good. Uh, plus negative one, which means we would distribute these in to the parentheses. I don't know if that helps or not. Some of you guys don't need this step either. You just know to change the signs on the inside. So this would be end up being plus y squared minus 6y minus 7. Okay, and I get that from this negative 1 times negative y squared, that's positive now. Negative 1 times uh, positive 6y is a negative 6y, and negative 1 times positive 7 is negative 7. So maybe we can see that a little bit better this way, but uh, everything's very clear whether we're adding or subtracting now. And let's look first at our first term in this one, which, as it turns out, is the highest degree, y squared. So degree of 2, that's a positive 1y squared. So I've got a 6y squared plus 1y squared, which would give me a total of 7y squared. Again, we're just adding the coefficients. The variable on this is just going to stay what it is, y squared. The next term I have is a negative 6y, which combined with this negative 6y would be a, a, I'll write it up here actually, negative 6y minus 6y. Combine these and we get a negative 12y. And then finally we just have the constants 4 and negative 7. So plus 4 minus 7, which combined would give us a negative 3. Um, I guess I didn't say this specifically on the last two, but this, this expression right here is just using the commutative property of, multi of addition rather to rearrange the problem at this point. Okay. I mean, I'm showing it in different colors, which is supposed to help, but it's still an expression. And that right there is in descending order.